Here we have the Kembala Mirage GT. Two thousand and nine. Looks like a matte silverish white paint. Uwe Gambala just arrived. Take here in front. <laughs> I'm going to have a look inside.
Lovely Alcantara and Carbo. Black carbon. Based on the Crowd GT by Gemballa, by Uwe Gemballa. And uh, this is uh, Lamborghini orange uh, colored uh, uh, Gemballa Mirage GT, US spec. And um, what model of the Carrera GT is it? And 2005. 2005, and when was it converted to a Mirage uh, GT? I think later that year, with the first owner in 2005. And we have uh, Lamborghini orange colored rings on the headlights and the beautiful carbon lip here. And the Bala logo. And uh, inside this car we will show you also has a, actually a plate for the number of the Carrera GT and also the number of the Mirage GT. That's correct. Uh, and as a bonus with the Mirage GT, you will have um, a navigation which you couldn't get on the <coughs> Carrera GT. And we have to remind ourselves to walk very slowly here to film nice. GT the number, number for the Mirage and uh, here we have the engine and it's actually a removable Targa roof as on the Carrera GT but you will have the air scoop still there or air that remains exactly film this from the driver's side as well. Well and it's charged and ready to go. Of course. I wouldn't be doing my job if it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have the numbering. And even floor mats are plastered in and unused. Gambala, so spec. Gambala spec, exactly. <laughs> Uwe Gambala signature here as well. So everything is top notch and brand new on this one. Uh, it smells completely new. A gorgeous color on this car. And you have the large rear. Spoiler and uh, spoiler. So this part is actually adjustable too. It's oh, either up like this or it sits flat. Ah, that's right. And that's adjustable from the, uh, from the cockpit. But the wing itself is going to go up and down. Ah, uh, oh, that's right. That's uh, uh, so on the Kira yep. GT. It's actually adjustable. And a painted beautiful uh, wheels. Gimbala logo on the side. And we have the Carrera GT, Gimbala Mirage. In guards red it looks like. Always stunning to see how the Carrera GT 
design have been like yeah enhanced if you say by uh, Gembala. Let's open. Yes. Lovely attention to detail. And if I remember correct, yeah, we have here the inserted navigation as a standard SLR, um, Toyota GT doesn't have. Yep. Oh, sorry. Thanks. Only uh, outside. Okay, okay. Uh, and uh, we have a Lexus LF. So, number 8 of out of 10. And this is for all the Porsche and Gambala lovers in the world. <laughs> there are thousands of this. Yes. And this is a unique, special, special. And where is this going? The one inside will go to Middle East, and this is going to? This is a factory car. Okay, it's factory. stay yeah. stay in the factory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here we are with the Gambala test driver, we can say. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I noticed the camera. Okay, here we have it. Yes, good throttle response. <laughs> now we're up in 110 euros. <laughs> 1,100. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the police with that. Yeah, yeah. Catch you. yeah. Immediately. So, what is done to the engine of the Mirage compared to the Carrera GT. Just a fine tuning. At the moment, it's just a fine tuning. Ah. So, yeah, yeah, the difference is, you know, we have around 650 horsepower, but we we are on the way to develop something big, big different. Yes, so, because it's amazing that it's actually a market for to tune yeah. the Carrera GT. Yeah. What is uh, around? I mean, it's not a tuned one. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really it's a Carrera GT from the basic, but at least it's a Gambala Mirage. Nothing at least have really something to do with the real with the Carrera GT. So the bodywork has changed, everything oh, really? changed so, with so the rear wing, so everything. So you could say most almost all of the panels are changed or yeah, so it's all oh. in carbon fiber, it's have, like I say. And the Carrera GT has aluminum or? No no no, but, but it's not all of carbon fiber like that. Ah okay. Yeah. And it's a wider body, like I say, with other brakes, yeah. everything is different. If you watch a, a regular Carrera GT, and you also so find they have navigation in the Carrera GT, yeah. which you don't have in the standard. Yeah, yeah, and uh, what is the uh, around? Is it uh, hundred or two, between one and two hundred thousand euros for uh, the this package? Have to speak with Mr. Gambale inside. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much. You can go with us back with the with the Cayenne then. Oh yes, yeah. of course. Okay. <laughs>
Jebala Mirage number 10. So should I jump into the Cayenne? Oh yeah, we should see the... Beautiful! So everything is stripped on the Carrera GT basically. This has nothing to do with it. This is not original, this is not original, nothing has to do with original Carrera GT. And it opens the other way, doesn't it? Carrera GT is the other way. You're clever! Yes! <laughs> you design everything, you know? Yes! Because normally it's like this. And the wheels might be even lighter also, maybe, and larger carbon brakes, ceramic brakes. Yeah. I think maybe the standard carriage GTS that as well. And is this adjustable? 